hey guys and thank you for returning back to the video today we're going to be creating a moody studio podcast setup and we're going to do this for under two thousand dollars okay so let's get started i have already sourced out the products that i'm going to use uh, i have not uploaded them yet so i am going to take the time out to upload everything okay let's see wait i think i got too many because i'm not gonna do um a video on all these pictures is for another video so i'll just pull out what i need and while that's uploading i need to go into my uh projects and let's see if we can pull a womb Let's see, uh, let's go into folders, and what I am looking for is when I started doing this, I uh, set up different rooms. So, we're going to do just a simple uh, room backdrop, and we're just going to place it here and stretch it out. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my uploads. I'm going to try to do this fairly quick. Um, the first thing we're going to start with is the background. This right here is would help with, um, it's not only, let's say, for aesthetic uh, looks, but it's also good for podcast studios so that you can muffle out the sound so you can get a better and crisp uh, recording with your podcast. So we'll just cover the total background with those okay great now what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer in a rug and i found this rug here which i think would be perfect but first thing we need to do is edit that rug and let's remove some of that background there we go and we edit that photo we're going to just drop that rug down there what i am going to do is bring it down just a smidge and maybe even stretch it out some more okay perfect 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 now what I want to do is I have chairs that I want to add okay so I did find these chairs and we're gonna also do a background remover for those okay and I am going to edit that thank you now what I'm going to do is actually go back into edit and do a crop and I want to crop out the other okay and we'll hit done now we're going to put one of the stools here duplicate put one of the stools here okay I was supposed to pull up lamps guys but I, I kind of missed that point um, anyway let's continue I was also looking to let's do the mics and let's also edit those out and uh, let's see let's do a little bit of erasing I want to get rid of those arrows okay and we're gonna edit that that gets rid of that now we're gonna place a mic on each side duplicate we're going to bring this one over here and then we're going to flip it see guys this is the best way that you can try products out before you buy them to see how they'll they will look in a room before you start your podcast or before you decorate any room or office okay now what we're going to be bringing in is this amazing monitor that I think is great for podcasts you can um, either put your logo on the back of this monitor first let's edit it out so that we can get a good clean crisp look and I am going to erase some of this background here and also erase some of this background okay guys I'm doing this in real time so it is um please forgive me if I leave anything extra on it okay I think that's good enough for right now 
Okay. Ah, looks like we need to edit a little bit more. Let's try a little bit more. Um, you can't really see it until you get back into the space. But what it seems like is that you can bring the brush size down a little bit smaller to get in much tighter spaces. Okay. And we are going to also get rid of that part right there. Bring it down. Now let's see what we got now. Ah, guys. Okay, we're going to go with that. We're going to run with that for right now. Okay, so right now let's push this chair back a little bit so it can be even with the other chair. Okay, there you go. And then you can also add lamps. Let me just see if I can find one in uh, the elements section. Let's say floor lamps. And I did price out floor lamps. I'll have everything in the description box below for the um, for the lamps. And actually, these are the exact ones I priced out. That's crazy. These here look a little bit graphic, but let's see if we can find some photo lamps that I wanted to use. Okay, I'm going to... I am going to... Uh, now that I look at it, guys, it seems like that would not be a good lamp. I think I would like something more or less like... Um, something like a tripod lamp let's try that okay oh what happened let's undo okay let's undo again okay let's just click on the tripod lamp let's do an edit let's remove it the background okay edit the photo and we are going to put this tripod lamp behind here and what we're going to do is just crop it a little bit like that there let's do a duplicate and put another lamp over here okay now what you can also do is take these black uh, panels and you can have them placed all the way on this wall as well um, because Canva is not a interior design uh, type website is only going to give you a 2d type spectrum I can't do perspectives in uh, Canva and maybe that might be something Canva will offer later down the road but until then um, let's see what I can do with adding some side panels let's see just so you can get an idea and I'm going to duplicate it. And this is just to give you an idea of um, adding the panels throughout the entire room. Again, like I said, Canva does not do perspectives. But I do believe adding these panels on this side as well as this side would be great for the acoustics in your podcast room. Okay, so guys, here is a simple, simple podcast room that you can do for under $200, including the lamps. Okay, so you get the rug, you get this wonderful monitor that you can use. Like I said, you can display your logos, anything that you guys are talking about or related to, or if they need a, a website, everything can be displayed here, especially if you're doing a video podcast. And then you have your backdrop. You can also add signage back here. And let's go to elements and just let's just see. Now this is not um, included in the price. Okay. Um, let's say that you put a sign back there. Let's try a neon sign. Okay. okay and let's say the neon sign says vibe okay we're gonna do look at that and i lost my um let me go out 
and redo it and just hit it. We are going to remove, edit, and let's just bring it down to as small as we can. And then you can put like your very own sign back there. So now you have the name of your um you have the name of your the the company or if, if there's a slogan that you have with your business you can use that and put in the back whichever one you choose it'll be just fine i think this is a perfect idea for a podcast room it's very simple it's very chic and this um the podcast mic these are just the stands but I've also included the stands and a complete podcast kit that you can buy that comes with the mic as well as the um, the uh, engineering adjuster that you use <clears throat> when you're doing a podcast. Excuse me. Okay. So, guys, if you would like any of this, I will have the links in the description box below. Again, thank you for uh, coming back to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Guys, again, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my home office productivity guide as well as bonus planner. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Elie Bolso Roulet, see you on the next video.